Hello, all you goddamn beautiful individuals. It's your boy, Icarus. How are you guys doing? Good? Bad? If you're having a bad day, hopefully what I'm going to say next will change that. I mean, that is if you still want to have a conversation with me. So, now that I have your attention, uh, I didn't grow up watching anime. Let's talk about it. Okay, 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 well, let me rephrase that. I didn't grow up watching a bunch of anime. Just recently, I started trying to watch anime again. Though, like every other 90s baby, I watched the occasional, like, cartoon or movie that would come on that is anime, but I didn't know that was anime. The usual ones would be, like, Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Spirited Away, and Code Lyoko. I loved Code Lyoko. Though I did play Kingdom Hearts and loved it, I thought it was just, like, a regular video game, uh, just with a cool, like the art style that would be all i knew of the anime world like i didn't really like venture out uh i knew it was a thing and a lot of people liked it but i just didn't have a cool individual uh that one does in these types of stories that like showed me anime uh now i say up until high school because like many others out there i did join my school's anime club and let me tell you that was um that was an interesting experience being in an anime club is where I learned about anime in general. Though at the time, I only went because of the person that I was with. They were really into anime. Plus, it was uh, an AC-filled room when it was hot outside, so it saved me from the heat time to time. When I was in anime club, I found out there was an abridged version of a show out there. Uh, if you don't know what a bridge version, uh, an abridged version is basically like a parody or one's take on uh, a series that somebody might like or that that individual likes. Um, somebody told me that there was a version of Dragon Ball Z, and let me tell you, I did not like anything Dragon Ball Z related up to this point uh, because of of other reasons, but. Uh, I found out there was a, a bridge version of Dragon Ball Z, and I found out there was a bridge, an abridged version of Yu-Gi-Oh. And oh boy, the those two abridged versions were amazing growing up. They they were cool, in my opinion. Not on hate, not on, like on to hate of the original Yu-Gi-Oh or, or like Dragon Ball Z, but uh, I felt like showing those are is way better. Than the original ones. I just associate the original, well, not Yu Gi Oh! but Dragon Ball Z. I associate that with my family. And well, well I'll just get on to that later. So, back on topic, after high school, I wouldn't dabble all that much in anime, though I would go to conventions and be amazed by the cosplay and the fans. I just never really watched any anime or read any manga. Though it wasn't, though, like, I didn't think that idea wasn't for me, I just wanted to get into other things like video games, movies, comics, and music. So let's skip all the way into like my 20s and I moved out of my old town and got a new job in another like city. I became friends with a bunch of people and by a bunch of people I mean a bunch of weebs. So much that we named our clan in Call of Duty uh, The Weebs just because we played a lot of Call of Duty and I was getting into anime because of them. And that's with a Z at the end because, you know, the S one was taken already, so that sucks. But hey, you know what? Kids of 90s kids, everything has to be with a Z. I would always hear them talk about anime and the ones that they watch, the ones that they're currently seeing, and it was rather interesting. So at the beginning of 2020, I asked my friends that, you know, what were good shows? Which ones should I start watching? Uh, and, you know, Considering everything that happened in the beginning of 2020, I had a bunch of time. Since then, I started this anime rediscovery, if you may. I've seen more than I ever thought I was going to in my lifetime. I've watched Darling in the Franks. I've watched Berserk. I am starting to read the manga for Berserk. I've seen a little bit of uh, No Game, No Life. I've seen Godzilla, the anime. It's It's... It's rather interesting. Though, uh, this is just a little video letting you guys know my experience with anime and how much it means to me now. I watch anime for the same reason I watch movies. There's a lot of emotional stories to be told and a lot of journeys to be taken. I love isekais. I love romance. I love every type of anime. And I'm going to keep making videos on the anime that I watched and the animes 
that I've seen and the mangas that I'm reading and everything that I'm doing in the anime world. Like, there's car shows that I didn't know existed and that I really want to, like, show you guys. But I never really had a video expressing my love for anime. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for showing me anime. Yeah, so that's what the next videos are going to be about. There's going to be about my rediscovery of anime, my love for anime, and honestly, it's going to be a fun ride. I hope to see you guys there and watching this and comment. Tell me what your favorite anime is in the comments below. Tell me what your favorite manga is. Tell me if you've been to a car show that has like anime stickers and people being in cosplay and cars, cars that are wrapped in dope ass shit. Like they're so fucking cool. Like I, I think I, I, I had a, uh, I was playing, uh, what was I playing? Bullet Storm, and I showed you guys like a, a picture of like a, a truck, in all cowboy bebop. If I have that photo still, I'll post it up. But it's so goddamn cool. Anyway, hope to catch you guys in this like weird video series that I kind of want to do. Me just describing the anime that I like and the anime that I watch, and hopefully I can not not only do anime, you know, do like movies, comics just stories i don't know i've always wanted to make a video that's not like video game related but i do love my let's play so i'll probably still do that just because i want to just capture the memories of me playing a game for the first time anyway guys if i don't see you in this video i'll happily see you in the next and if you guys don't know i do stream here and there i used to have a schedule but because of work i it's, i'm gonna stream when i can thank you guys for watching catch you on in the next one. Bye.